Come try us again, and today, guys, I'm here to do another anime review, and the review is to Sogeki no Soma Season 2, Episode 11, guys, or aka Food Wars Season 2, Episode 11. So let's get into it. So, guys, in this episode of Sogeki no Soma, wow, it focuses on a new exam test thing that you have to do. Um, in, in, um, uh, in, this, in, 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 in a school. And this test they have to do is that it's called the Steerage. Steerage? I cannot just get the name of it. Steerage? It's a exam based um, assignment that they have to go to different con like different restaurants in different countries, it seems like, or different cultural restaurants and stuff. And, well, work there. Like, you get personal experience of working in a restaurant, a cafe, anywhere you end up going to need cooking skills or serving people food. Now, how this examination works. This is actually one of the main um, examinations, one of the exa main t tasks that makes sure a lot of students get expelled instantly. Do you remember the, um, remember last season, where they had to go to this camp. Well, it's like the camp. It's that that this is one of the places where you can easily get expelled from, like expelled from the school if you fail bad at your well task. Now we got two um two uh and the and the first task of well this the storage is that they have to work in a restaurant with a teammate with a teammate some. W working with someone from your the same school as you, pretty much the same person, someone in your year. You're working at the same place, and you have to work together to well help the restaurant out because the restaurants that get taken to, to taken to are restaurants that are good, but they could have done a lot better. You know, it's restaurants that needed help. Now it mainly focused on Soma and Asuka. Thanks for how you say her name. Sorry for if I'm messing people, some kind of name, but Asuka, yeah, uh, Asuka is Nikoli uh, Erna's um, attendant, uh, who we know know that she pro loss and stuff in the tournament, and her social thinking about Nikoli being a higher status, so she, she cannot be near her because she lost in the elections against Harama. She not feel she cannot feel like going back to Nikoli at all. Now, that's most of this episode, even though it focused on the election, in the, the, uh, uh, the, st um, the first task between, in a, uh, working in the restaurant with Soma and Asuka, we also got some, um, we also got, um, Nikki and Megami. They end up working together. And I didn't expect that because I actually did not expect, well, maybe not fully expect, might not expect it because I had that feeling if Soma was paired up with his her attendant, possibility that Megami would be paired up with, with well, Nikoli. Main reason if you think about it, attendants you can say are also students under a higher chef. In a way, Nikoli is the teacher and the attendant, of course, Asuka is the student. And my first are with Soma and Megami. Soma is the higher rank chef, the teacher, and Megami is the teacher. And she represents that that Soma helped her out to get better. As the Sakuri dorm and meeting Soma, she became a better cook. Now, I've got to say, Megami fucking loved her reactions this episode. Like, Megami's reactions. And I'm glad the reaction where she also took some foot on way of helping the restaurant out because even though Nikoli was doing most of it, like majority of like making the restaurant better in her own way, which oh my god, her way was just so strict. <laughs> but it works, it works. And it's understandable as well. But she does need to improve as well, but uh, but but she is better than first season. I've got to mention that she is better than the first season. Like she was a bitch first season. But I still liked her because she was not she was a bitch that is likable. 
she was a bit less likable, but you can tell that she can improve a lot more. But of course, in this season, she was a lot better with her personality in some way. Now, Megami, I'm just saying, her re way of she figured out off because she was cleaning dishes, learning that people maybe wanted less or more sauce on their food by just cleaning the dishes was well, a good thing because she found that, that that can they give is it possible um, we can give them a selection of how much sauce they want in other words um, maybe me was thinking that there are some customers here who wanted more or less of the sauce in the food they get so Nikolai who heard the conversation um, said that's a good idea Megami me. and and that she told her that you know, you know it's the ladle she can get um, for gravy you know for gravy you get the ladle I think like you know like um like ladle pot for gravy and stuff I cannot remember the name for it I've seen those a lot I even see it. we even have one at our house but it's you know when you at dinner tables you can always serve from the pan so we usually have to get put the gravy in a special um uh, pourer a gravy pourer so you can tip it over yourself and see how much you wanted from it so yeah that's pretty much Nico you recommended and that's what Nico we saw set and that's a good idea making me and this is how you can do it and they end up coming with that idea and pretty much how that rest from their working out would be now, like I said, the majority of the episode was focused on actually Soma and Asuka working at their restaurant. And the restaurant they were working at was a uh, pretty old restaurant. Not a traditional restaurant, but an old restaurant that's run by a family. Um, and the owner was the third generation of his restaurant. And for a long time, he wanted to keep um, the tradition going. He wanted to keep the tradition going of how the restaurant works and everything. But because of the times he's in the restaurant is now unique because now they found out it's got there's a built-in runway system there's a built-in runway system for trains and stuff that come in so that means people come straight in to food get quick food then they get a quick train because of that um uh, build it more customers and then that more work to be done and soma and asuka saw made a true step to help out the restaurant and come up with some ideas they can improve the restaurant and they decided that you should not keep it a free shop anymore like no one can come straight in and have something to eat they need to rent it in other words they have to um, book a seat they have to book a table in other words reserved tables they have to reserve a table for them so in other words now the restaurant now has to be reserved and because of that, it decreases, not the amount, uh, it doesn't decrease, decrease the amount of people, but it does somewhat. Um, but it decreases them enough to make sure um, they get the amount of money they needed and the amount of cook they need, food they needed as well. Also, it helps them to be able to cook with ease, because they know, without Summer and Oscar there, they will go revert back to their original selves and become shit again. So that's why, by doing this, they have... More time to spare when it comes to cooking and less worried to getting their orders out in time. And, well, have fun cooking and get the orders out in time. And I'm glad they did that. And learning inf learning about also Asuka's feelings and Nikri's feelings. Oh my god, just got to say, knowing their feelings between to each other, it was adorable. Fucking adorable. But very, very painful in a way because... I did say, Asuka, she is really someone who looks at someone who has a high status as someone. You should not disobey their orders. You should not look like you're high and mighty compared to them because you have no proof of it. Pretty much, she sees people who treat people who are high class as equals. She sees them as scum in a way. And in a way, she saw some of that until she sees them how he works and shows all the experience he gets from actually doing it from his entire life, actually working in a restaurant and stuff, because you guys know, someone used to work in a diner, back in his, his family owned, so he's used to working in the field, he's used to working in air at times where a lunch rush or a rush comes in where a ton of people come in instantly and you have no time to rest. So that's why, and by doing that, it gave um, uh, Oscar understanding why oh, some are always get respected and become a good cook and everything. And in a way, 
I said they don't need to see that I've got to show him now. <laughs> it's quite obvious as well from the personality in this episode, but there's possibilities she's got to show him now. Oh my god, Summer, you're getting a lot of people, a lot of crushes, aren't you? <laughs> so many crushes in this episode. But, yeah, and that's all God say. And, now, animation quality. God say animation looks so good. I really enjoyed the animation, the food. I'm glad I'm about to have dinner soon. I'm about to have dinner soon. So I'm glad, because I'm fucking hungry right now. I want my food fucking now. But this dinner's going to be ready soon, and, yeah. Overall, animation is good, and the food makes me hungry. Dinner is about to be ready. So, anyway, guys, I have to go now. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys like it. Comment, share, fan today. If you guys want to stuff out now, go to down below. My address is there, and yeah. Hope you guys like it. Comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.